because of the lifestyles that we live now, it's really disrupted how we eat and how we move. In fact, we don't even move that much these days. You know, we sit in front of a computer, we're hunched over, we're driving in our cars, we're seated most of the time. So for me, introducing movement, it doesn't have to be a CrossFit workout or a metabolic conditioning workout. My recommendation is just start walking. It will really trigger the good hormones that you need. It will de-stress you as well. The fact that you can walk every day and you don't have to pay anyone for it and you don't have to do any of that stuff, it's something that someone, you could walk for the whole year. And I tell you now, your losing of weight is gonna have more to do with what's happening in the kitchen than it's gonna to have to do with, with your exercise. I think people like to out-exercise a bad diet and that's, that's a hard thing to do and they sometimes feel they need to do more, right? So they're buying things. I, every time I meet a client, they always wanna buy the new shake, they wanna buy the new machine and I'm like, no. You know, and that's why I like, I like to actually solve a lot of problems by subtracting and not by adding because you've actually most of the times we actually have too much and that's kind of what, one of the problems I'm finding with clients. When you start the day with say something that's heavy in carbohydrates, right, it signals the wrong genes, if you, if you will, and, and I say it signals the, 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 the wrong biochemical reactions for what you need that morning, you need to be energized, you need to be alert, and carbohydrates don't give us that effect. If you can introduce a smoothie, for instance, you have kale or spinach or one of those things in there, and again, those, those vegetables and those fruits, first of all, they're alive, so you're gonna be very energized, you'll be satiated, but you'll be energized, but then also you have all the, all the, all the micronutrients that you actually need for brain function, right? Oats is great, but again, oats in a little bit, in a small quantity is what you want. Let me just kind of explain the protein shake as a tool. Okay, so first of all, the human body can only, can only absorb 30 grams of protein at any given you know, time on average, right? So the scoop of a protein shake is about 30 grams, right? Now, if you're using the shake in conjunction with a fasting protocol, then you are introducing pure protein where you have, you have taken everything else away. You've given yourself uh, the comfort of knowing that whatever exercises you did in the morning, they're going to be very well fed from a protein standpoint. So none of these things are done forever, right? If you're trying to drop your, your fat percentage from a 25 to a 15 or even below 10, right? You're gonna have to start doing like some interesting things and this is where the protein shakes come in. So buying these tools is something that you want to do when you've already gotten the frequency muscle going. I recommend that people exercise daily, okay, because I believe that our lives are made up of day, day tight compartments, right? And so if you can have amazing days, I believe you can have an amazing life, right? That's kind of how I see it. So if you can if you can curate the kind of exercises that are low enough impact that you can do them daily, but high enough impact that they can help you achieve the goals that you're looking for, then you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. Depending on what you're looking for, for me, exercise is a personal development tool, okay? Exercise helps me, um, it changes my emotional state. I'm able to get into uh, presentations and just nail them. Uh, I'm able to go into meetings. I'm able to be more persuasive. It's a great thing to work, work out twice a day. There's no, no, nothing wrong with that, but I'd, I'd still recommend that in the evenings you do more like stretching, you do a bit of breath work, just so that you're actually equipping the day, you know, so that you, you, know, you tell the, day, the, the body that, listen, we're ramping down now, we're going to dinner, we're gonna spend time with loved ones, we're gonna be with our kids. And for me, I'm a big believer that how you curate your day really affects your life, really. I teach Russian kettlebells, and I love Russian kettlebells because Ronabatu, we don't have tons of space for like a treadmill and a this and a that. And with a kettlebell alone, you can train the whole family, and all you need is just a bit of space. You need a bit like a patch of grass, or you can just move the coffee table out the way. And that's what I love about a kettlebell, is you can do so much with it, and it doesn't require so much space. And it's, 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 it's relatively inexpensive as well. And you actually will pass it on to the next generation. And so I love kettlebells for that reason. Exercising out of being afraid of being fat versus exercising moving towards well-being is so much more inspiring. And um, you know, it's just less cortisol, less adrenaline, and you get to enjoy it as well.